was kind of strange. It was cool for a long time. It started late. It was full of up and downs. From an energy point of view, the energy I had, my motivation about work, about my creative endeavors, and a lot of up and downs in a mental health point of view as well. I think I was just very burnt out. But this summer, it was also, I think, even though I didn't go on vacation during the summer and I was stuck at home and at work watching all my friends doing stories in the seaside, I think I managed to make it work. And I spent so much time with my friends, dancing, listening to amazing music, just having fun and dressing in strange ways and just relax a little bit. Just spending some time and enjoying the moment it was very precious. And I'm really happy I got to experience all these beautiful moments this summer. And then today I wake up and it's like 15 degrees outside. So the temperature is dropping. So I don't know if it's the end of summer, but summer is definitely ending at the moment. And it got me thinking how summer always had a special place in my heart. Like for me, it's the time of adventure, of discovery, of expansion and carefreeness. It's a time when you forget about your daily life and you just embrace what I call the soul of summer. This spirit that pushes you to dive into the night and be a bit crazy and a bit carefree. I have so many fond memories in summer and every time summer passes, I can sense the shift in the season happening right now. Nights are getting longer, the air is a bit, a bit colder in the mornings, but it's also very precious and very inspiring. And I'm kind of enjoying that moment where things are rotting in a way, because there's beauty in rot, there's beauty in decay and there's beauty in death in a way. So yeah, summer's almost gone, and with it, the doubts and the confusion I felt this past few months, I think it's slowly shifting. And I remember thinking in the beginning of the year, I wish I could just find my creativity back. I wish I could just find inspiration back. And I think that has happened, especially in the past couple months. And I really need to stop and congratulate myself and be like, oh my God, this is so awesome. I did that. I don't know if I did that, but it happened. And it's quite amazing. Things are moving very slowly and I'm still at a phase where I don't really have my footing yet and I'm still hesitating what to do with this creative energy and what to do with this desire to move and to create and to change my life and to do things. I'm trying to find my voice and I'm trying to find what I want to say. And to be fair, I know myself very well. I know what I like, I know what I don't like, but it's so vast and vague at time and very deep at times that it's very hard for me to find it and take it out and bring it outside. I actually realized that it's just that I don't take the time enough to just sit and I was uh, on my balcony again and I was looking at the landscape and just paused for like two minutes. That's where I found a little moment of stillness and I'm not very comfortable with stillness at the moment. Not very comfortable at all. I feel very weird being with myself in silence and that's why every time people are like oh you should meditate you should do this you should do that i'm like i really don't want to be alone with myself in my thought i'd rather be busy and working and focused on one thing or another rather than having to sit with my own thought for more than five minutes but i did that on the balcony for like 10 seconds and i focused on feelings and that's where i found this nostalgic longing feeling for the summer that's about to be gone. And my only regret is that I didn't spend enough time in nature the way I used to, but I have a deep issue with nature at the moment. I used to feel like some type of child of the forest and always wondering wherever, whenever I could to go out in the woods, by the rivers, in the mountains, and I barely do that. And when I do, I feel like a stranger. I feel like I should not be here. I feel like it's not my world and I lost the thing that made me part of it. But I dearly miss it. But what I'm missing is not being there, it's the feeling I had, this connection I felt to the world and again to this sense of the soul of the season. It's almost like every season, every month uh, as this personality, this soul. And I could feel it and I could sense it and it was so invigorating and inspiring and I felt like I was dancing with the world. And again yesterday, I was because I was at the festival, I said, and it was too late to go home, so I slept at my sister's place because she left, because she lived quite early. And I woke up super early and I didn't want to wake up anyone, so I just got up and went on the terrace and just sat there and 
It was quite fresh. Everything was green and grey because it was still early in the morning and everything was cloudy. And I just sat there and I felt it again for just a couple minutes. And I sat there with that feeling and I was like, this is what I'm missing. This connection. I think I'm just craving connection with things around me and not feel like I'm floating connected to nothing. And I kept thinking, okay, but what has changed? What exactly has changed? And I think it's a matter that I'm less connected to the actual world and more connected to the noise of the world. And by noise, I mean news, social media, what's happening, what other people are saying. I used to spend more time reading, more time making art, more time meditating and doing nothing at all, because I think doing nothing at all is a very precious thing. And I don't do that enough because again, I'm a bit scared of being alone with myself and my own thoughts. When you're alone with yourself and you allow silence to come, you realize that there is no silence at all, that your heart has a lot to say and your mind as well. And there's so much hidden just below the surface that's just ready to come out anytime you just leave a little space for it. And I used to be so in touch with that. And now I'm so afraid and I guess also a bit distrustful of myself. So yeah, summer is almost gone and I must remain brave and not freak out because I'm scared of what winter will bring because that's just a residue of all the traumas I accumulated over the years and there's nothing to worry about. It's not because it went bad once that it's gonna be bad every time. So I just need to brace myself and enjoy because fall is also a beautiful season. Again, the season of decay and things falling into silence slowing down, time to retreat within myself. And I'd say maybe if summer is an extroverted season, not a season for extrovert, but an extroverted season, a season of expansion and going out of yourself, then fall is about retreating within yourself, slowing down and looking at what's there, what's, there, what's hidden in the shadows and what you can learn from it. And I think I can slow down and dive into that.